hold that one. Done. You got the camera. Day two, six o'clock in the morning. Coming out to check the horses after a night of no sleep at all. Worrying about the loading, especially my little Bing. So I'm going to go and get them some breakfast. And the truck driver doesn't rightly doesn't want them to eat grain this morning, but um, I'm going to give them some apple with those powders because I think that maybe helped yesterday. Definitely didn't do any harm. Didn't help Bing get on the truck. But they were so quiet and calm on the journey. We're going to do that again. But I'm just thinking, you know, they were in there for, what, eight, nine hours yesterday. I don't really going to want to get back in because Biscuit and Nemo got in so well. They were so brave. And just that little Bing. Hey Biscuit, right I'm going to go and get you a little bit of fruit for breakfast. So here we are, poised for takeoff. Now it's daylight, you can see where we are. Huge equestrian centre. The boys are on the truck, but we can't go. She's just putting the tachograph card in in two minutes and then we have to wait another ten minutes before we can go. But we left an hour for loading because that's what it took us yesterday and they were so much better today. Biscuit was more hesitant. Morisco! Hey! Good boy. Little Bing! Little Bing! Umo! But Bing was the tricky one yesterday and he got on so much better. So all my worry and sleepless night. Um, he did go sideways and break that bit of fence. But then he got on much more easily. But that was the other thing. I thought that last night in my sleep this morning. What if he does that with that fence? Anyway, I'm going to go for a last pee before we hit the road. Because she doesn't stop for four, four and a half hours. <laughs> That's a sign of old age. Can't go that long without peeing. Anyway, we'll be in France tonight. That'll be another emotional moment, crossing the Spanish border. I had one coming out of Malaga province, one coming out of Andalusia. So it's been a very, very long day, 12 hours on the truck, poor things. We're staying here for the night. Well, the night. She just told me she wants to leave at quarter to four in the morning. Can't wait to get them off. We just had to do a 45 minute stop when we were half an hour away because she ran out of driving hours. It's so crazy. Why don't they have an exception for live animals? I can't believe it. Anyway. here so we can see better.
so I hate they've got these things in between. You can't really see each other, but they seem to be all right. I think they're just glad to be still. They all had a pee as soon as they went in. So I'm going to give them some nice wet food. In fact, I'll give them a wee bit to settle down first and then give them some food. Here's the last one. Oh, is that a relief to be still, boys? So much nicer place than last night, that industrial kind of one. It's lovely and quiet, it's lovely here. Look, the horses are here, and I've got a room right beside them. Just trees and nature. Isn't that fantastic? So it's 6.30 on day three in France, in Bordeaux. Bing's snorting and not very keen to eat his breakfast. He's got his powders in it. But he's going to eat something now. I don't think he's laying down. He's got no straw on him anywhere in his tail. Hey, did you not lie down, Bing, and have a rest? So I was hoping that today we only had a four hour day. Apparently, we're going to do another two hours today. So we're going to get nearer to the ferry port for the next day. Here's Maurice go. Eating your breakfast biscuit. He's busily eating, you happily eating, aren't you? And then Uno's along here. It's annoying the stables had these boards in between, they couldn't see each other. But this is such a quiet place, they seem okay. He's eating up quite happily. So yeah, it's going to be another long day. Let's see how the loading goes. <sighs> Deep breath. Actually, we've only got the two of us this morning, so I'm not even sure how we're going to do it. The first horse goes in, somebody needs to put the partition up while somebody's holding the other two horses. That means three people. Maybe the wee French guy will turn up. He was very sweet last night. Okay, it's day three, early morning check-in. It's been such a long day. I have to go with her, you know I said that from the beginning, she's the transporter, she's the experienced driver and horse motor and all that so I just wish we could have done a short day today for biscuit's sake but anyway, I think we've still got an hour or so to go so it's going to be a 12 hour for the horses. So poor babies. Anyway, we're more than halfway, two thirds of the way there I think. So here we are, end of a very long day three, at a lovely little yard here, and at last tonight they can all see each other. So we're 40 minutes from the boat, Biscuit cut his eye today, hey Biscuit! I've just put a blob of cream on it, I'm not going to hassle and trying to clean. Um, it is, what time is it? Oh gosh, quarter past eight. So that's almost exactly 12 hours. Well, we've been here for half an hour, let them calm down before they eat. Little Bing's here. He's not eating. He's nibbling some hay, but he's not touching his carrots. They've got a little bit of food that's soaked in water. Now he's gonna have a nibble. And he's looking a bit tucked up in his belly. He's not, he's all right. His eyes were full of guns, so just cleaned his eyes. And Umo is tucking in his food and seems to be faring the best out of the three for some reason. Hey Umi. Hey. There we go. Good boy. Because I've just been told that we are leaving. That we're getting the boat at ten past six or something ridiculous. So we've got to leave here at five and with him not loading this morning and the pressure that he has to get on tomorrow morning because of the boat and she wants to do it leaving the other two here and taking him around on his own, which I'm not sure about, but I have to go with her decision. I said I would do that. And the same about the boat. I'm so tempted to say, let's get a later boat and make it easy because it's going to be pitch dark and we've got to load them in the dark. And anyway, that will be a test. So now I need to really do some nice long breaths. Calm down, at least he's eating. Looking quite engaged about his food, not looking too tucked up. He's got this funny drinker. 
that you have to press the little tube down. Let's just go and see if that's working okay. Because we had awful trouble last night with that biscuit. It's a different system every place. And this is one that they haven't seen before. The biscuit, good boy. Good boy. So it's got this little tube thing that you press in. So the horses have to press that to get the water to come out. They're not used to having to press things and it makes that noise. But hopefully, look, it's Bing working it out. You working it out, Bing? Good boy. This seems to be working it out. Good. Good Bing. Good Bing, but look how tucked up he is in his belly. Don't like that at all. But maybe it's normal with the travelling. I'm just having to trust Charlie because I don't know about travelling. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, do some breathing with him, try and get something to eat. Sleeping in the car tonight. Kept to sleep in here with the horses, actually. Right, day four. It's 4.45. AM. Beautiful full moon. Can't see anything because it's pitch dark. I'm off to mix up the feeds. Nope, nothing. All dark. <sighs> right. We put water on the feed for the horses. 5 a.m. And we're eating breakfast. Going for a drink. Weird drinker. Such a weird drinker thing. Are you just stuffing yourself in one? He's like he's finished his rocket already and onto his carrots. Have a look at your drinker thing. Right, so we're going for the boat today. And then a drive, and I think it's like 15 hours on the truck, so I'm going to ask if we can make it not more than 12 hours on the truck for the horses. Even though the part on the boat we might be sleeping, see how they are when we get off the boat. I'm just worrying about everything, so now it's time to take some long, deep, slow breaths, wiggle my toes, feel the ground. Believe that Biscuit's going to walk straight on the truck. And every day, of course, it's pressure to get on the truck, but this day more than ever. Because we need to catch the boat. Hey, Biscuit. Biscuit. Okay. It's I, her thing. I did, just don't want to touch it and mess around with it. Just going to leave it. I've got some cream on. It's not that bad. It's funny, just getting colder and more autumny as we drive north. Nice to see all the autumn colours. Oh! <laughs> Bob Ingalls. Bob Ingalls. There we go. Little update, so they're on. They're on. Biscuit took five minutes and we were gentle and quiet and... Oh my God, he was shaking all over. But he still got on. Bing more or less got straight on. Umo almost ran in there to not get left behind. So we're waiting for the 10 minute tachograph thing and then we're off. So we're here at the booking office at Cali at the port. So I'm behind the trucks. That was a hassle at the toll at the booth because my booking reference was a freight booking, but I didn't have the freight code so they couldn't put me through. Um, and she said I'd have to pay for a new ticket, which was another 190. And I was just like, you know what, at this stage, just let me go, <laughs> give me the ticket. But then um, she spoke to someone in the office and they've let me through. So I'm now going through with the trucks as a freight booking. Um, I think I'm blocking here now. There's big trucks everywhere, but that means I can follow Charlie and we're in the same lane and the car will be where the horses are, so that's better. Because if I went through as a car, um, of course I'd be on a completely different deck of the boat. So we're just getting ready to load on the boat. 
she's going to check, or now I'm beside her, I can also, we can check the horses, give them a drink, see how warm or cold they are. I don't know the shaking this morning, getting on the truck if they were all so cold. And if they need a drink, we can give them a drink, if they will drink. And she can either leave the air conditioning on or not. Apparently it's quite warm in the bottom of the boat. So it's now um, seven o'clock. The boat's supposed to leave at eight. And I guess this is us queuing up now to load. So here we go, out of Europe, back to the UK. And the ridiculous thing, after all that hassle to get those papers for the horses, and everything in order. She didn't even look. How many horses have you got? Three. Okay, off you go. Nobody looked at the papers. Well, not so far. Maybe when we get to the border or something, they look, but here, that's just the shipping office, I suppose. Irish ferries were going on. Okay, so we've come through the office to get on the boat and it's been flagged up as red zone. So that means we've got to go and, um, get inspected or something, I don't know. Poor horses, this is just what we don't need now. I'm going to get out of the car and go and see what's happening. Okay, so the door clamped down on her and now they've let me through. Oh, that's it, they just looked in the back of the car, had a quick look around, let us go. Thank God they didn't start looking around too much. Not that there's anything that illegal in there, but I don't know. Got a bottle of whiskey, maybe that's not allowed. Anyway, I think that says off towards the boat now. I'm glad I'm following Charlie, it's really hard to know where to go. So now we're on UK border control. That was us coming off the French border and we go through the UK border control here. I wonder if that means we don't have to do it at the other side. That would be nice. Poor horses. So in the end they sent me upstairs because the car goes upstairs. This is upstairs on the road. We've just loaded, the horse box is downstairs. So I'm going to meet Charlie up there. There's another big boat sitting out there. It's just starting to get daylight. I'm feeling much calmer now. It's such a relief with the loading this morning. Okay, there we go. That's us pulling out of Cali now. There he's moving. This is the time to see past sunrise in Europe. Just having some breakfast in the lounge. It's quite quiet. Here we go. Look at this. This is the White Cliffs of Dover. So here we are. This is famous White Cliffs. Coming into port in 20 minutes. I'm hoping the boys have had a good journey downstairs. It's been a very smooth crossing, so I'm hoping they're alright. And I might just have a little emotional moment riding back in the UK. After 33 years, of course I've been here for visits, but oh my god, there's the front of the boat, look. That's where the boats, the lorries will come out. And then we're driving 20 minutes to the yard, and then we're off to CC Yard tonight, which is about a six hour drive. in the back of the truck. It's hard with this camera. Here's Biscuit in his little space. Oh, he's trying to bite my phone. And here's a little bang in his little partition. I'm just in here giving him a drink. And then he goes on the back through there. Bing, don't tip that over. Don't tip it over. Don't tip it over, Bing Bing. So here we are, getting the first view of England at the transport yard. Day four, finally arrived somewhere in the Yorkshire Dales. I thought we were never going to get here. Man, those last hours was a struggle. I was so tired. Been up at four o'clock and not having slept a wink last night. This looks like an amazing place. Let's film out the window and see them. Oh, got all that green grass. Why is it going to be looking out the window going? Ooh. Oh, so last stop, and this means tomorrow we've got a short day. Let's see how they come off the truck tonight. What happens in the morning? This is 
some kind of um, dealer's yard or something like that. Hey biscuit. Hey. So we've been here for about an hour and somehow the horses seem to know that they're home. Look, they're all lying down. Marisco, Andrew and Cameron are here. Little We don't know how they know. I thought we're just arriving at another strange stable yard. Biscuit. I've got some more to do. How do they know? They, do, they know. I said, I wish I could tell them that we're home. And four nights have been at places I haven't even thought about lying down. And here, they're straight away resting. There's Biscuit getting up. He was last to go down. Umo went down first. So quickly, I was worried he had to call it. Biscuit's maybe a bit more unsettled. 